guys, it's Drippy Cactar again, and we are back again with another Fearful Friday. So if you guys are not aware, and if you're new to this, Fearful Friday is when we all come together. I choose analog horror, um, short films, clips, the whole nine yards. We all watch it together. We get creeped out, uncomfortable, terrified, the whole nine yards. So this is Fearful Friday 21, and I am super excited to be doing it again. I love the support that I'm always getting on it. And like I always say, I love when people reach out and like show me things to you know kind of broadcast the next Friday so on and so forth I know that sometimes I may not always be 100% uh, perfect at it if I have something going on but I always want to make sure that every Friday that I'm doing something for you guys I hope you guys are doing good it's been a few days and I've definitely been just you know I've been with family a lot I enjoyed 4th of July it was absolutely amazing hope you guys did too not gonna lie I got very lit got very turned <laughs> and it was awesome so let me be quiet because I'm super excited to to have this day with you guys and have this moment for Fearful Friday and I cannot believe it's 21 oh my gosh so let's get on with it let's go ahead and have some fun guys today is analog horror day so woo, Fearful Friday <laughs> Alright guys, so the first analog horror today is going to be Project Brutanica and it's the interrogation. So last Friday I was very interested um, in, uh, and of course the person is Jack G Animations. I was very interested in what I had saw because we did watch Project Brutanica and it was the introduction last Friday. But things were just very interesting to me and I just had to just see what was going on because I was like, oh my gosh, this has caught my interest. Please be sure to check out Jack G Animations and see other things that he has or they have going on. So let's go ahead and get this going. What am I looking at? <laughs> I have no idea what's going on. Oh, okay. Oh, it was just the intro? That was lit. <laughs> okay. Welcome to the Project Britannica. This tape is designed to guide new employees into their assigned ships from set one and to familiarize employees with the inhabitation level of their assigned ships. This tape will cover the first set of Project Britannica's ships, those being the SS Mauritania, hmm. the SS Prometheus. Oh, I like that name, actually. The SS Empress of Britain and the SS Olympic. I think I know about the Olympic the most. 
genuinely. <laughs> Ship one of set one, SS Mauritania, in habitation level zero. Employees assigned to Mauritania must only board the ship in specially provided suits, with no less than 12 people boarding the ship at a time. Employees must communicate to the outside team every minute with an exact location on the ship, according to the provided deck plans. Three mm. of set one, SS Empress of Britain, in habitation level 55. Employees assigned to Empress of Britain may board the ship without the provided suits, but only if entering the topmost decks of the vessel. Any employees venturing below deck D must wear the provided suits and communicate their position with their employees on a higher deck every five minutes according to the deck plans. Ship 4 of Set 1, SS Olympic, in habitation level 95, employees assigned to SS Okay, 1987. Ooh. Thank you for coming in today, Mr. McGowan. Just for your information, this interview will be recorded and used for the purposes of Project Britannica. Take as much time as you need. If you want to take a short break or would prefer to write down your account, please. I'm fine speaking. Well then, let's begin. What was your role aboard the Lusitania in April of 1911? Well, I'd been assigned to a third-class steward of Mauritania, after a Mauritania had went missing a few months before. Most of the lads I worked with there were new recruits. Most of our current Lusitania crew had left. Mm. I don't think many of them wanted to be on that ship. They didn't want to be on the ship? Oh, no, sir. Not after a Mauritania. Mm. Many of those lads had wives and children at home. I was just happy to be out of the mines and somewhere clean. You had sailed before this? Never, sir. This was my first sailing. They were hiring wherever they could. A few of the lads I worked with up in the Pennines were aboard in the cargo holds. Some as cleaners on the deck. Another lad was with me in third class. How had the voyage been before the night of the 22nd? A fine one indeed, sir. Mm. All the Lucy was a grand thing, you know. And we were practically flying across the Atlantic with a pace they had us going at. I think one of the deckhands told me we'd crossed 27 knots on Friday. You weren't supposed to. Ooh, Ship two I saw of that, y'all. SS Aquitania. Inhabitation level oh 85. My gosh. Employees assigned to SS Aquitania may board the ship without the provided suits, but only if entering the uppermost decks of the vessel. Key hotspots on the vessel are the engine rooms. The aftmost boiler rooms, the grand saloon, and the galleys. Hmm. Ship three of set two, SS Waratah, in habitation level 43. Employees assigned to SS Waratah may board the. So what were you doing at the time of the collision? We were readying the saloon for breakfast, sir. A few of the other lads were in bed during the collision, and we were thrown to the floor, you know. Bits of the iceberg came in through windows and shattered the glass. We all ran up to the top deck to see it pass the stern. It was a huge thing, you know, towered right above the funnels. And there was ice all along the promenade deck, from forward to aft. And what did you do after the collision? We were told to report to the top deck in an event of an accident. They will. What? Hello? Ooh. There was something with that ship. With all the ships. What's happening to him? You weren't oblivious to it, you know? I saw with my own eyes the Mauritania when they dragged her back in. She was practically a wreck. But just doesn't happen by itself. Please, Mr. McGowan, if you would just... Twenty years you've kept us in here. Twenty bloody years since you ever brought us all in here. It's been so long, I don't even know where we are anymore. Just tell me for the love of God, what was that thing in the Lusitania and the Mauritania? You know I can't. Tell me! Tell me! Ooh. Tell me where you are on those blind ships! I know you know, you all know! 
Please just tell me what the hell happened on my ship. Please, before I charge my number anymore. No, keep him alive. No, no. Oh, no. Oh my gosh. What did he do? like copyright or not you know what i mean like i ain't trying to get all into that but it looks like that was the end that was very interesting there was a lot of hidden stuff and like this is this series is really good huh. like i said last friday i'm gonna have to keep an eye out for this you guys definitely should too but i enjoyed that um <clears throat> You guys should definitely tell me in the comments what you've been thinking of it as well, if you've been kind of keeping up with it, because I, for one, have always been interested in anything revolving the Titanic and the stories around it, so on and so forth. But yeah, good stuff. Shout out to Jack G Animation. So yeah, let's on be on to the next one. <laughs>
If you were given a difficult question to answer by a child, perhaps on the topic of death or sex, how would you accurately handle the situation? Uh, oh, 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 wow. Um, okay. Wow. Uh, if a <laughs> if a child um, wait, why why would a child be asking me questions if I'm okay? Uh, if a kid asked me about death, and I suppose it would depend on the kid, I'd tell them about heaven, and you know that's where they'd go and. Blah, blah. that's about sex depending on the age i'd tell them about storks maybe or i'd pull the old when a mummy and a daddy love each other very much card you know do you suffer from any illnesses i mean i'm asthmatic but that's about it how about phobias i'm relatively claustrophobic also i get scared of the, the dark bit of the sea it, you know when it just goes down like for miles it's, it's like, Thalassophobia. I, I don't know. I, I can't quite remember what it's called. I think it's. I wouldn't have answered that question. But, yeah. <laughs> How would you best describe your workplace attitude? I am immensely positive and outgoing. I, I tried to make the best of whatever hand I'm dealt. If you were to be hurt while working at all, how high would you say your pain tolerance is to endure any physical discomfort before being freed? Um. <laughs> That's a bit of a weird question. I, I guess I'd be okay. Why are you asking me this? The job entails you to do many things. Some involve cleaning machinery and being confined in tight spaces. Hang on, I, th I thought this was to work in the front of the house, dealing with families and caring. It is. Uh, okay. What well, is happening? You got the job. Wait, whoa, 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 really? Just like that? I that usually there's a couple of weeks wait before you know not here if you're an appropriate candidate you get picked that's amazing okay uh, when, when would i even start what's best for you this is not up for negotiation <laughs> Oh no! <gasps> no! This is a FNAF star! What are you doing to me? Oh my gosh! They turned him into the freaking thing! <laughs> oh my gosh, this noise is killing me. This is horrible! You guys, torment is like my Achilles heel. I hate to hear the company it. Would like to formally oh my gosh. To everyone for allowing this to happen. Oh my god. We'd also like to apologize for the disturbing nature of this video and all of the imagery associated with this video. We apologize for the extreme number of casualties involved in this experimentation and all civilians who unfortunately died after the fact. We assure you the mascot did not suffer for an extended period of time. <gasps> We also assure you that we have launched multiple internal investigations into this event and hope to better understand how the experimentation itself works. Oh, we thank my you goodness. for your ongoing cooperation and support. We would also, also like, like to politely remind you not to share this tape with the public under any circumstance. This tape is the property of Archibald's Happiness and Company. Woo! Okay. Okay. You guys. I'm very shook. That really got to me. One hundred 
thousand percent that okay the noise of torment like that that gets me that really gets me this analog horror was freaking amazing like i absolutely loved it so big shout out to parzival films again please check out what they have um and just you know oh my goodness like stay on top of what they are gonna be doing because that was insane that hurt my feelings so bad and it was definitely giving me like some FNAF kind of like stuff but at the same time like you know obviously it was his own thing and I oof oof yeah I, let me shut up because I could go on forever about that but that was really good on to the third one guys <laughs> let's go on and get you know another analog horror thing going Woo, Jesus <laughs> All right, guys, so the last analog horror for today is going to be called Deep Sea Live. It is an analog horror by Chilling Abyss. Please be sure to check out their channel and check out other things that they have going on. So let's go ahead and get it going. Super excited about this. I've been enjoying all of the analog horror today, by the way. Okay. Thanks to the generous support of our sponsors, the Deep Blue Foundation and Spectrum Innovations, we are thrilled to bring you an incredible, never before seen experience that will take you deep into the ocean's mysterious depths. Get ready to experience the ocean like never before as you peer through our new state of the art camera focused intently on the pit, a seemingly bottomless hole of unknown depths. The vessel is operated by a single individual who will provide captions for what you deserve. Submersible cam. Okay, all right. The sea really scares me, y'all. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> We sincerely hope that you enjoy this broadcast. Okay. I like how old timey that is. Hmm. <laughs> mm. Oh, dear Lord. I just couldn't imagine being deep in the ocean like this. Mm -mm. So they're capturing the sounds and they're letting us know what it is. Like that sound we're hearing is whales. Okay. Dragonfish. I genuinely didn't know what that was called. <laughs> My favorite fish is an angler fish, y'all. Y'all need to tell me in the comments what your favorite fish is. <laughs> Thank you. 
no way. No way. <clears throat> Stop. No. Oh, jeez. What is happening in the deep blue sea? <laughs> Recall the sub. Oh. Oh my goodness. that one rocked i really liked that one i liked all of them that was freaking awesome but no tell me in the comments what you really think like when it comes to anything dealing with like the sea you know what i'm saying i personally would believe that like in real life like for real like it, it's from my understanding we know more about space than we'll ever know about like the sea which is terrifying to me and i like i feel like anything like below 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 it's just like we just cannot fathom what could possibly be just the the, the further down in the depths you know what i'm saying like i, I just it's terrifying to me and i just want to know what you guys think but i love i loved this oh my gosh heck yeah Please. all right guys that was it for feel for friday number 21 and i hope i said that right fearful friday i get so tongue-tied sometimes but yeah guys i enjoyed all of it i really liked every single thing that i saw today and i hope you guys did too this was really fun and again like i always say please be sure to always reach out to me tell me what you think so on and so forth show me stuff that way i could you know look at it we can all look at it together the next friday it's really really fun i would really appreciate it but yeah i hope you guys just are having a blast it's friday it's the weekend so on and so forth and i hope you guys have a great saturday a great sunday you stay healthy and well 
everything good possible that can happen to you. I hope that it does. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I hope you like, comment, and subscribe. And I hope you have a good day. Stay safe and stay drippy. Bye-bye. <laughs>